What's up everyone, I'm back here for another video and today's video is gonna be on how to maximize your profits in the stock market. So over the last couple of years, I've made over $7 million day trading. And if you don't believe me, you could go to myinvestingclub.com and check out my verified broker statements. So what I'm gonna do it for you guys in this video is I'm gonna be walking through my exact process how to find the stocks to trade, my routine, my strategy, everything I do from start to finish. And by the end of the video, I'm gonna teach you how to add gasoline to this fire and make even more money. So let's start. So step one is identifying what type of market cycle we are currently in. 2020 and 2021 was a very, very aggressive bull cycle. That means that every single stock you bought, no matter what stock it was, it would just go straight up and straight up and straight up. 2022, which is when I'm recording this video, we are in the most aggressive bear cycle in history, which means that stocks are just going straight down and straight down and straight down and straight down. So knowing that we're in an aggressive bear cycle, this should tell you that you should not be looking to day trade long on these stocks. Investing is a totally different story. I'm just talking about day trading right now. So now that you've identified what type of cycle we're in and what side of the trade to focus on, right? Because yeah, there's still opportunity to make money when you go long, but I would say 90% of stocks are going straight down. So wouldn't you wanna piggyback on that trend that 90% of stocks are following? So I make most of my money uh, on the short side, which means when stocks go down, I made millions of dollars doing it. Uh, my biggest trade was AMC. It made $700,000 of one day shorting AMC. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk you through step one of the process, okay? And this is for a short bias trader, which is perfect for this exact market condition that we are in right now. So step one of my process is checking the gappers on the stocks. I wanna find the highest percentage gainers on the day every single day. Now, the reason why I look for the highest percentage gainers on the day is because these are the stocks that have the most range. These are the stocks that are up the most. If they're up the most, they have room to contract back down, right? If a stock is only up a dollar a share, maybe it comes down 50 cents a share, but if a stock is up $30 a share, it'll come down maybe $15 a share. You know what I'm saying? So number one, step one, is finding the highest percentage gainers on the day, okay? And what I like to do is I like to look for stocks that are maybe 30% or above. So I'm looking for stocks that are gapping 30% or above every single morning. I look for about five to 10 of these stocks in order. After I find these stocks, what I like to look for is I like to look at the news. I wanna see why these stocks are moving. Oftentimes stocks move based on contracts, based on you know uh, earnings, based on no news sometimes, they just get pumped. So I wanna identify and determine what the news is for the stocks. Some red flags that I've noticed in small cap stocks is oftentimes phase two and phase three biotechs are very, very dangerous to short because they just keep going up and up and up and up. So if I see a red flag like that, I'm not really interested. Uh, also, additionally, low float stocks. If a stock has a float of like under 3 million, it is very easy to get manipulated and I don't wanna really short those stocks. So first things first, highest percentage gainers on the day, then look at the news. If something is up on like a contract news or a letter of intent, which basically is not really anything, it's just some fluff letter of intent, or if they're up on no news, those are my sweet spots. I like no news, letter of intent, sometimes earnings uh, sell off, so that's that. After I determine the stocks I'm not gonna trade based on the red flags, now I narrow down the list even more. So first it goes from 10 stocks to maybe one to three stocks, okay? After I find those three stocks, what I do is I look at the daily chart. What is the past trends of this stock? Oftentimes, what I want to see is I want to see a stock go straight up, straight down. Every day that it has a volume day, straight up, straight down. Every day that it has a volume day, straight up, straight down. Or I want to see a stock that's downtrending. I want to see a stock that's downtrending because if you think about it, you know, if the stock is downtrending, if it has a bounce, all those people that are in for higher are gonna sell and lead to more sell pressure on the way down. So then I look at the daily chart, right? The daily chart is telling me what is the overall trend of this stock. Is it If it's having higher lows and it has some sort of good news, maybe it's gonna keep going. So I'm looking for downtrending stocks, right? Downtrending stocks so that if they're bouncing on news, they're probably gonna get sold off into that bounce, okay? Next step is looking at the filings. What is the what are the numbers uh, behind the screens? What are the books telling us about this stock? Does this stock have cash? Is this stock in debt? 
You know, how much money do they burn? Do they have any offerings, any ATMs, any dilution, anything like that? Now, that's a whole different rabbit hole to get into and it takes time to learn that stuff. But all you need to know is if a stock has possible dilution, it does not mean that it's automatically a short. It just means that the odds are even more in your favor. So I'm looking for stocks to be even more in my favor. The more good things or the more technically this stuff, bad things I have the stock has, the better it is for my short thesis because it gives them more reasons to come down. So after I've looked at the filings, after I've looked at the chart, my next step is looking at where it's trading pre-market, right? Is the stock uptrending pre-market or is the stock downtrending pre-market? Ideally, what I want to see is I want to see the stock downtrending pre-market because that tells me that the early buyers and sellers, sellers are winning. So what will end up happening is if a stock bounces, that bounce will probably likely fail because there's so many people in from higher. So I look for stocks that are broken pre-market and I like to short the bounce, right? Now, the easiest way to do this is to just kind of set your orders and wait. You know, so if a stock is downtrending from eight to seven to six and it's at $6, you know, you could set an order at 650, seven, 750 to short with a stop at eight, which is the previous high. So that's in a nutshell, the simplest strategy is finding these broken stocks and shorting the bounce. Now, that is something that occurs probably every single day. This is a strategy that you can repeat every single day, right? Every single day. Now, how to add gasoline on this fire, how to make it even crazier is there are certain patterns. There is certain setups. There are certain things that only occur one to two times a year, right? And on these things, on these times that these patterns occur one to two times a year, that is your opportunity to bet like crazy, okay? So for me, my best setup is something called the first red day setup. And I'm not gonna get too into that because it's a million dollar strategy. I don't, if you're an MIC, you can watch those videos, but essentially for me, when a first red day setup comes around, I am bulldozing in size. So for the day-to-day -day examples, let's say I'm using a thousand to 5,000 shares. On those first red day setups, I'm using 100,000 shares. I'm going exponential because the odds are in my favor, right? So. That's the thing about trading is trading is about waiting for those ideal 99% setups that only come around once or twice a year. And when those setups come around, that is when you bulldoze in size. If you are using the same exact size on every single setup, you are doing it wrong. You have to be betting abnormally based on your edge. So on these day-to-day -day setups, I'm not going over 5,000 shares. But on the first red day setups, when those niche setups are there, I'm loading the boat, loading the boat, because that is when the opportunity is at the best. That is the strategy that has the highest win rate. That is the strategy that is the best. And, you know, for me as a professional trader that's been doing this for eight years, I am just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for those opportunities. This year was INDO was that opportunity. I shorted that around 70 bucks and I think I made like 600,000. Uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, I shorted that I think around like 15, 16, 17 dollars, and I made you know three, four hundred grand on that. So, you know, my year is based on those opportunities showing up, and the day to day is just wallet patterns, man. I'm making thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars a day, putting that in my pocket until that outsized opportunity comes that I could just completely bulldoze into that setup. So, if you're struggling trading, it's probably because you're using the same size in every single setup. Uh, if you do not know what your best setup is to bulldoze in on it, that means you don't have enough data on your trading yet. It took me a couple of years to determine what stocks I make the most money on. Um, but yeah, that's basically in a nutshell what I'm doing every single day. I'm waiting for those. I'm narrowing down the stocks every single day and then I'm waiting for those good opportunities. So, I mean, if you guys want to learn more about the strategy, if you guys want to learn more about how we do it, we're actually running a really, really big holiday sale. So if you go to myinvestingclub.com slash Christmas, you could join our community for $99. This is, we don't usually offer a monthly membership. We got rid of the monthly membership, but we know a lot of people are struggling in this market. So we want to bring it back to you guys. This is your opportunity to see what it's like to be mentored by professional traders. This is your opportunity to get all the education, all the lessons, all the videos on the first red day. And to be honest, guys, we plan on raising our prices at the year end. 
coming into the new year. So go to myinvestingclub.com slash Christmas to learn more about us and just try us for a year. I mean, try us for a month because the reality is it's going to take a little bit longer than a month to learn how to day trade. But what we want to do is we want to show you inside our community and see if you're the right fit. If you're committed to trading, if you want to learn how to trade, this is the best opportunity at $99 to start. It's almost a no brainer. And I guarantee that just based on following our watches, you can make more than $99 in a month. So let me know what you guys think of this video. Let me know what your best strategy is. Let me know what your best setup is in the comments. And maybe together we could learn how to improve and make more money together. But for me, I am patiently waiting for that next first red day to come. So thank you everyone. And I will see you on the next video.